Hi everyone, just doing another Cricobet review on the SF Pro Blast range of Cricobets. Um, the good thing is about these range of Cricobets is that they're not going to be updated for our summer season, so the stickers will stay the same right throughout. Um, so that's really cool. Um, in terms of the Cricobets themselves, SF classified them as mid-range Cricobets. Uh, besides the 4000 model, the 4000 model is classified as a grade 5 cricket bed. But for a grade 5 cricket bed, it represents exceptional value for money. Uh, unfortunately, due to COVID, we had to adjust our pricing on uh, a few cricket beds just to cover the costs. Uh, but still, uh, with the adjustment in pricing, the bet in my hands is only 1800 Ren. And to me, that represents exceptional value for money. Uh, in terms of the profiles of the bats, they are mid middles, duck, bull, toes, um, good size edges, good size spines, slight concave um, in, the, in the profile just to help with the pickup and balance. And they all come with a round uh, handles with cork inserts. Uh, pickups across the range, I won't lie to you, they pick up, uh, they pick up their weight, they don't really pick up lighter than they, than, than they are, uh, but it's not, it's not a bad thing. Um, ideally, the reason why we bring in the, the 4000 bet is for someone who's playing LMS um, or someone who's not looking for an expensive cricket bet who just basically wants to play uh, cricket in the weekend, doesn't want to break the bank. Uh, these bets represent um, good value uh, for money for those type of individuals. Also for people who's looking for a second or third bet or even a net bet. Just something that they can basically abuse while they're playing bet is stuck safely in their bag. Um, this one here in particular is quite nice. This is the last one that we have. I counted 13 grains on it. It does come with a scuff sheet. But generally, if we're going to oil and knock in the bed, we'll take that scuff sheet off, give it a few coats of oil, knock it in properly again, and then put the scuff sheet and toe guard on it, right? So 13 grains on it. Uh, good, good specs for it. Um, the specs should be on our website. So we're just going to tip it up from the toe, toe the up on the stick and see how it goes. down in the toe quite punchy I mean I'm I'm really impressed on the pressing of these on these cricket bats so this is the last one that we have really really good really good value for money uh, the next bet in the range that we keep is the SF Pro Blaster 5000 so again, graded as a mid-range cricket bed. This one in particular has got beautiful straight grains. Um, half the bed is made out of hardwood, but again, really, really clean, really, really good looking. Um, in terms of the profile, exactly as the Pro Blaster, 5, uh, Pro Blaster 4000 with a mid to low sweet spot, duck bill toe, slight concaving to help with the balance uh, in the pickup. Uh, again, the round handle, uh, pick up again, let's just see how it feels. Again, yeah, I would say it doesn't feel lighter than it is, definitely feels more or less its weight. Um, in terms of the pin, let's see how, how, it, how it goes. Very nice and punchy, very responsive. That's a very, very nice performing cricket bet. Uh, bet number five. This one is a bit of a more open structure to it. Again, not a lot of blemishes on it. Uh, good, good specs. Again, it's a big, big cricket bet. Um, handle wise, again, it's a round handle, not very thick. Let's say it's a medium round handle. And let's see how it uh, performs. So it is to be expected slightly softer than the previous bed. And it's just with the open grain structure. But still very nice and responsive. Let's get it up by the sticker. 
and it's got a very nice sound to it. That's a bit, bit number five. And then we have another one. Again, again, five grains, open grain structure. I do like the blue and orange stickers. A very striking. I'm a sucker for blue. Anything with blue really gets me. Uh, this one in particular, again, big specs. Uh, it seems to be the biggest out of the three. Uh, same profile. Mid to low, sweet spot, dark both toes, slight concave. Handle again, it's a medium, it's a medium round. And let's see how it uh, how it's been pressed. Slightly firmer than bed five. But again, very, very responsive. Let's try and get it up to the sticker. I mean, we haven't adjusted the prices on these. These are still 2,000 rand. And again, exceptional value for money for, for the range of cricket bits. And the last model that we keep is the SF Pro Blaster 7,000. The stickers are very striking, very out there. I do like the contrast between the blue and the green. Um, and if you're looking for gloves to match, you should definitely check out the SF Platinum gloves. Uh, excellent uh, bet glove combo. Uh, this particular range of cricket bet is 2,400 rand. Again, SF classifies this is a mid range cricket bet, so not too sure on the actual grading itself. Um, Again, nothing to write home about in the profile, exactly the same as all the others. It's a nice profile because it caters for, for everyone, whether you're eating the ball down low or whether you're eating it high up. It's got a nice big profile to it, so it's a very, very forgiving profile. Um, again, good size edges, good size spines. The handles on the Pro Blaster 7000 seem to be slightly thicker. Um, in terms of the pickup and the balance, uh, they do pick up slightly better than the other two models. And it all comes down to the handle being slightly, slightly thicker. Yeah, very, very, very nice, very, very nice pickup. And it's also got a very nice bow to it, as you can see. I'm not too sure if the camera picks it up. It's got a very nice bow low down. So it's going to help you clear the infield on that. Uh, I'm not too sure if I showed you the grains, but again, nice, nice grains on that. Um, and let's step it up from the bottom to the sticker. So very nice pressing again on these beds. Even though they are budget beds, I mean, the performance on them is quite nice. And then let's get high up. It's a, it's a nice cricket bit. So that is bit number one. This is bit number four on our website. Two, four, six, eight. Eight grains on it with a, uh, a slight uh, bit of hardwood on the right hand, this outside edge. Um, again, big, big cricket bits. I mean, this one here is, is a monster. Really, really good specs. Not too sure if I showed you guys the back of the cricket bed. Um, some people call it the transformer bed because of the bed stickers. Um, but I really don't mind the bed sticker. Um, yeah, very, very nice. Again, the handle on this uh, model is also slightly thicker than the 5000 and 4000 beds. So I do like that. Uh, in terms of pickup, let's just see how it feels in the hands. Yeah, no. It's uh, a very, very nice pickup. Let's see how it tips up. Yeah, that gets responsive. That is very, very responsive. I mean, I'm not hitting it, I'm just tipping it up. I mean, if I have to hit it, it's going to hit the ceiling. So, very, very responsive. Even up high with the sticker, let's just do it again. I mean, up high by the sticker, it is nice and responsive. And then the last one that we have on our website is bit number six. This one here is quite nice, got the most grains of all of them. Nice evenly spaced grains, got a little blemish 
over here, but it's not going to affect the performance of the cricket bat. Also, it's got some hardwood on the right here in this outside edge. So nice, nice grains on that. Um, nice profile, not as big as the previous cricket bat, but still a nice big bat. Tuck built toe, slight concave, mid to low profile. And most importantly, again, a nice stick um, round handle. Um, and yeah, I would say all the Pro Blaster 7000 bits just pick up slightly better than the 5000 gigabits. It's mainly down to the thickness on the handle. We're just going to see how it performs. So, super responsive. As you guys can see, very, very impressed with the pressing of these cricket bits. Yeah, that's the SF Pro Blaster 7000 cricket bits. You can check all the specs on our website at www.a7sports.co.za. And uh, I'm just going to show you guys another cricket bit. It's already sold. Hopefully it is going out later this week. But fully oiled, fully knocked in. And you can actually see it's got a slight, very slight concave to it. It's just to help with the pickup. Um, so let's just see how this guy tips up now that it's been fully oiled and knocked in. So I'm going to start from the bottom of it. And as you guys can see, I mean, it, the ball is just flying and hitting the ceiling. I mean, I'm just literally tipping it up and it is going and it's even up high. So yeah, very very impressed with these with these cricket bits. Um, for the budget models in the SF range, by far my favorite bits coming out. So that's it for the Pro Blast range from SF. If you do if you have any comments, please let us know below. Please like, uh, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.